All right, guys, so today we're going to have a quick discussion about the new God Dragonstone or Red Dragonstone 15 that we all got for the seventh anniversary on Global. And uh, I'll give you guys my opinion about which units I feel like are the best to choose. Now, honestly, they really need to update this pool because most of the units in this selection are very very outdated like most of them I would say are units that I would never run unless I was just doing it for fun like for old times sake or whatever but they're just really not that good anymore and uh, obviously there are a few exceptions which I will point out but for the most part um, not a great selection overall now uh, which unit you choose really comes down to which teams you are trying to build which teams you need uh, you know, filler units for, and also whether you care about performance more or you care about completing your collection more. Because, for example, we have the Dokkan Festival units, which are this Gogeta, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the Tech Perfect Cell, Int Ultimate Gohan, STR uh, Broly, the Fizz Full Power Frieza, the Tech Beerus, the Int Janemba, uh, the STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, and then the Fizz Kid. Boo, these ones are your Dokkan Festival exclusive units. And even though most of them are really, like I said, not that good anymore, these guys are harder to get than the other units in the selection, which are the non Dokkan Fest units, because these guys are only available on specific Dokkan Festival banners. And at this point, it's basically um, like the New Year's banner or like very special banners we get throughout the year, right? So. They're much harder to get, they're much more rare than compared to like, uh, you know, the AGL Kid Boo, which you definitely should not get, the, you know, STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the uh, Topo Dispo, uh, PyCon, and so on and so forth. So if you are missing some of these Dokkan Festival guys and you, uh, you know, want to make sure you have a complete or as complete of a collection as you possibly can get, then I would definitely go for one of these Dokkan Fest guys because like I said, they're harder to get, they're more rare, right? So um, out of the Dokkan Festival units, uh, I would definitely consider the Int Janemba even though he's not as good as he was when he first Extreme Z Awakened. He still puts out some pretty good damage and his defense is still uh, one of the best among these uh, you know, Dokkan Fest units, right? So. I would definitely heavily consider him, or if you want one of the better tanks, then the STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is actually one of the best tanks in the game, at least for short to medium length events. Uh, for I believe 10 turns, he's getting like 80% damage reduction, and then on Super Battle Road, he can also stun, so he's a very, very good unit for some of the harder events of the game, so I would also heavily consider Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. So these two guys I think would be top priority if you already have them. Then the next one I would go for is probably... Uh, I would say Kid Buu just because of how good of a support unit he is. Because with the Extreme Z Awakening, he's giving up to 50% attack and defense right, to all allies. So yeah, in terms of support, he is one of the better units in the game. So I would consider him as well if you already have you know, the Janemba and the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And uh, outside of that, I mean, honestly, nobody else is that good. Like, STR Gogeta is okay. You know, his damage is pretty good. His defense is, eh, whatever. And uh, he's cool because he's Gogeta. So like, you know, as far as which unit I feel like is the most hype, I would probably say the Gogeta, but we're talking about performance here, right? And performance wise, He's just okay. Same thing with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, same thing with the Cell. You know, Ultimate Gohan is fine. Like, these guys are just fine, but I really wouldn't recommend them that much. Now, moving on to the other units in the selection. We have the uh, AGL Ultimate Gohan, who's just okay. Uh, this, yo, this AGL Kid Buu honestly needs like a double Extreme Z Awakening. I'm pretty sure I've said this in other Red Dragonstone videos too, because it's very true, man. He needs another Extreme Z Awakening because he is just that bad. It's like, 
I mean, it's hard to imagine how bad he was before the Extreme Z Awakening because right now, with an Extreme Z Awakening, he's still super, super bad. So he is at the very bottom of the list. Like, only choose him if you have every other unit in this selection. And even then, I mean, he's not really worth getting except for, like, collection purposes. So, yeah, he's really bad. And then... <laughs> We have the tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, who's okay. Uh, Int Cell, okay. Super Saiyan 3 Goku, okay. Fizz, Ultimate Gohan, okay. Like these guys are just like whatever. They're they're very mediocre. Um, they got their uses. You know, I'm not not trying to say like you can't use them on like a Hybrid Saiyans team or a Pure Saiyans team or Super Saiyan 3 team or like uh, you know Androids team or whatever, right? I'm just saying. They, they really don't impress anymore by today's standards. There are a lot of free-to-play units in the game right now that outperform, like, basically all of these units, with a few exceptions, of course. So, um, yeah, of these free-to-play units, I think that PyCon actually is quite solid if you have a team for him. Because of his debuff, it's really useful in uh, Super Battle Road. And I think this Broly is still uh, quite good. I think his damage is actually... You know, among like the non Dokafest units, is actually one of the higher. He's one of the higher damage dealers, and uh, his defense can get pretty good after it's built up. Um, this Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta is actually a really good tank as well, as long as he has some time to build up. So on like longer events, you know, legendary Goku event, um, legendary Vegeta event, and uh, stuff like that, he gets some very very solid defense, and. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider any of these guys, honestly. Um, I just don't think they're really good enough. So once again, only get them if you are missing them. But I do think that the AGL Khalifla is still really solid as a dodger. And also, her defense is good. So she's just a, she's just the overall pretty good tank, I think. And if you pair her up with a Kale, then she does some solid damage with the attacks effective against all. And then this Kale, I think, is actually very impressive. This Kale, she hits hard, she gets multiple supers, she gets a ton of damage reduction, so that makes her a very good tank. In shorter events, she loses that damage reduction, but you can still get it with a lot of orbs uh, after turn 6, I think. So she's not as reliable after that, but for like Super Battle Road, for example, where you're usually not going beyond 6 turns, she's a great choice. And the Kaioken Goku and the Ka uh, Fizz Vegeta, these two are specifically very good for um, the Legendary Goku event, or both Legendary Goku events, or the Legendary Vegeta event. So Goku gets a buff against Vegeta's, so if you need some help with the Legendary Vegeta event, this guy can actually help quite a bit. And then the Vegeta can help a lot for the uh, Legendary Goku events because of his extra buff against Goku's. And lastly, we have these two guys who are um, both solid. Uh, I would say they're two of the better non Dokkan best units here. Uh, I would probably go with Vegeta over Goku just because Vegeta has much more damage output potential. Whereas the Goku has some healing, so that's also good. So it can, you know, he can like help you stay alive a little bit more. But um, in my experience, I do like the Majin Vegeta more. But obviously, if you already have the Int Majin Vegeta, you would run him over this Vegeta, so in that case, I would go for the Goku. So, yeah, in summary, I think <clears throat> my recommendation would be number one, still probably someone like Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, just because of his utility, um, his usefulness as just an amazing tank on a lot of vents in this game. I use him all the time. Like he is probably out of this entire list my number one most used unit because of how um, effective he is as a tank and a stunner, right? So I would go Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta number one still, number two, uh, Super Janemba. And then from there, I would go for either Kale or Khalifla next. And then a little bit beyond or a little bit under that would be, you know, the Vegeta. And the Kaioken Goku, and then slightly below that would be Majin Vegeta and the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, although I think it's pretty interchangeable. And if you're looking for supports, uh, I think that the um, Metal Cooler is a very good extreme support, 
whereas the uh, Topo is a very, very good super support. So it depends on what you need. You know, actually, Topo is a... I think he might be an all-type support, actually, with Extreme Z Awakening. So uh, either way, Topo, really good support. If you want an Extreme support, then go for the Metal Cooler. And um, that's it. Oh, also, Broly's not a bad choice either. Broly's not a bad choice either. So those are really your options. Um, what you ultimately choose is really up to you, of course, depending on what you need. Like I said, at the end of the day, um, if you're a collector, go for a Dokkan Fest unit. If you care more about performance, then um, I would still go for the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. But one of these other, you know, non Dokkan Fest units that I highlighted, I think can also be a good option. But these guys are available on every banner um, in the unfeatured pool. So um, chances are you're probably going to get them eventually if you just play the game for long enough. So um, the choice is, is, is ultimately up to you. Um, hopefully this video was at least a little bit helpful. Hopefully they add more units to this selection because we really need it, man. We really do. It's bad. It, it's really bad. But uh, <laughs> that's enough for me. This video has been uh, much longer than I intended it to be. So I'm going to call it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys ended up choosing with your uh, Red Dragonstone. Now for me, as always, we go for the Elder Kai because uh, I don't need anything else. So there we have it, guys. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.